Okay, today I'm going to show you how to do, use the Tech2 to download uh, the code from your computer or from your car and then switch over to the computer and get the updates. Uh, and we will be using the T this TSP to reprogram repro the PMC. I just completed the other, pro uh, the other update and it was this TSP. for upgrading the traction control and here is the tech 2 now you go where do I get a tech 2 and the only cheapest one I found was over here at, at, at in China and they have a, a tech 2 package right here at the, these packages here and the 349 package this one here comes with the case and so I opted for that one and here uh, here we have the case and the candy and also the cable to connect to your OBD2 connector uh, carries everything uh, with it here's the software that I installed on uh, my old laptop that was just laying around. Now in order for this to work I had to get a serial port here. This serial port cable or card PCMCIA card to able, be able to connect through this cable into my Tech 2 and then I will show you how this works. Okay I have it hooked up to the OBD2 connector and then the key is off and here is you can see I'm getting power to it and then we will run through turning on the tech 2 Okay, what we're going to do here is extract the car information. Very straightforward. Hit enter. S service program system. Enter. Request info. Continue. Chevy I got my 2001 here Passenger car Corvette Continue. Turn the car, turn all the power consuming devices off, turn the ignition on, be sure the battery is fully charged. Alright, let me turn the car on. Without starting her. Okay, here we go. Now, push this continue button. She is extracting our data. takes a minute or two here there we go so now I have my VIN and all the sub modules uh, the date on the sub module codes okay that's it now I go upstairs and uh, go to the next step okay we're back up in the computer room I'm gonna flip on the tech tube now we had extracted the module codes and the VIN number of the vehicle I was working on. So here we're at the boot screen. Now I'm going to go over to the laptop and click on the TIS 2000. 
This will extract, the, what we're going to do is extract the information we got from the Tech 2 and then look for updates. Okay, we're going to use Service Program System. Okay, the Tech 2 is at the boot screen and we're going to push on Extract the VIN and the codes from the Tech 2. Here we go. And the Tech 2, it's starting to read the data over here. The TIS 2000, we'll extract that ourselves. And then it's asking me, is this the right VIN? Well, there's more VINs in here, and that is the Corvette VIN. So I'll say yes. Now, which, which update do we want to do? The PCM, the ABS, I did this one already. We will do the PCM, powertrain. All right. Now, it is going to the internet to find out all the updates for the system. So, here it is. Here's the code that's installed on it. 12202088 and the la the latest one is 588. So that's downloadable. So, with that in mind, we will click next to get that. It says new software addresses deceleration stall repla and replaces 2088, exactly what I have in here for 2001 vehicles. So here we go. So I'm going to download this. These are all the benefits from up, up, updating the software check here we go so I'm getting this and putting it on to the tech team right here so when this is done these updates will be put onto the tech 2 and later we'll go down to the Corvette and install them All right, I left you guys for a minute so that it could continue its download. This is taking a little while. And then, as you can see, uh, I'll let you see that when it's at 100%, the Tech 2 goes back to its boot screen, and it's loaded in the Tech 2. Right there. All right, and then it says, make sure you use this tool. J42236-A to make sure that when you install this update it doesn't talk to the rest of the uh, the rest of the modules in the car so I have this it's for the 1999 to 2004 it also does the 97 to 90, 98 this is the tool and because it says we're programming the PCM, I will set it to B on, on the star connector 1. So here it is. Star connector 1. I'll put it on that. And then I'll, I have it on B already. So I will, install, I will plug this in in the card down below. And I'll show you that update. I was meaning to show you that where I got the the tool that was required. I just got it from eBay. You can find them cheap on there. And so uh, I got mine for a hundred, and I it just arrived. So I'm ready to go down and put the update in. Okay, so now you can see that I'm under the dash, passenger side, working to get the selector tool connected. And from the instructions that you've seen earlier, it says pull out the, these two right here, 
And right here are the star connectors. Inside the star connector, there is a metal connector that needs to be removed first. Uh, it's hard to show it, but uh, you won't be able to get it in there with that metal connector in there. Anyway, um, that's what I'm working on right now. That's that's number one, and that's number two. Number two, number one, has four wires, many wires going to it. Number two has four wires going to it. I have removed the bus bar, this one, from these pins. Now the connector can be plugged in. Okay, I have the start connector connected to number one here and number two. And then when I pulled out number two, the bus bar stayed connected into the gray connector that was covering the top of this. So let me get the uh, next one on. Okay, I got the start connectors on, one and two. As you can see, those little clips clip on the metal bracket that's inside there to hold them steady in the on the floor before, before you use them. And these are the gray connectors covering those. And then you just plug these two connectors in. And then you set this, like I showed you before, to number one and B. And when you look at the back, you'll see that that says PCM. Connector one on center on B. Well, that's where we are. Okay, we are now ready after we have set all this up over here and the tool to set to the right module. We are ready to flip on the tech two. Uh, the tech tool will tell us uh, exactly what to do. We will go into service programming system. Uh, back. Service programming system, enter. Okay, program ECU. Uh, the program must be installed. First, number tech two is ready for the program. Okay, enter. Now, is this correct? Yes, this is the right car and the right codes. Now it says turn off all the power, turn the ignition on, do not start the car, push continue. programming successful so that's how we get it in there and now I got to do everything else in reverse before I leave I would like to extract what we had put in there to make sure that Make sure that uh, it went in properly and that we're able to read it from here. So this time the code will be updated. Okay, there we go. Okay, I booted up the Tech 2 and the computer and I'm ready to extract the updated codes. doing the extraction so what we should see this time is no updates our update should be
current. Okay, it says calibration. Current calibration is 1588 and then the latest available 1588. We have the newest software available. Uh, the update to the cur current calibration went, went successful. All right, well, that's it. A little bit of work. And you don't have to do the data module every time. Uh, the Tech 2 will do, do it by itself. It tells you when you need that. 